Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a species profile on Obi Dragon Boat Peacocks. I'm going to be telling you a little bit about their requirements, uh, and what you need to know about them if you want to keep them or if you already have them. And then I'm going to be showing you the uh, different stages of grot I have for their fry, um, and then uh, all the different little males from those clowning up so they can see them. Um, but uh, if you uh, like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And then uh, if there's a species you want me to do another species profile on, uh, just leave a comment down below. And then uh, I'll see if I can uh, do it. I've bred about 70, 70 different species, and I have access to about 200 um, other species um, that I usually get juveniles of. And then I just grow them up and then sell the males and breeder groups later on. Um, and so I can do a, a little video on all those too, uh, if there's a certain one you want to know more about. Um, but I'll start off with our breeder group here. I've got three males. One, two, three. These are our fire and ice males. They are line bred. They have a lot more white. Like that there. And that white face like a dragon blood. These are man-made. OB peacocks do not occur naturally in the wild. Only OB mabuna. So these were many decades ago crossed. Peacocks are crossed with Obi Mabuna to get the blotching and then line bred um, for a long time to get that peacock shape back in them. Uh, and then we crossed the Obi Peacocks with Dragon Buds, which are also man made. But this group, three males and about 25, 30 different females. Um, the majority of the females are the Obi Dragon Bud females. Some of them even have some color. We've been line breeding these for about 10 years. So the females, after you line breed them a long time, they get started getting some color. Like that one's bred a few times for us. And I also have some super red dragon blood females in there. Let's see if I can get them to breed to bring out more red. And then I also have albino dragon blood females. Those there. And then this one's holding. And then I have some split gene fry of those. I'll be showing you guys. But this is a 75 gallon tank. This is the perfect size for breeding. 125 would be a little bit overkill uh, unless you wanted a personal tank inside but if you're just looking to breed these guys uh, just the most efficient tank it doesn't take the, up the, the most room uh, this is perfect 40 gallons a little too small and like I said three males so I've had a, haven't had any problems with aggression with these guys um, but I've also got 25 30 females so uh, didn't really have to fight over the ladies uh, female holding with a bunch there. But if you want to breed these guys in a 75 gallon, I recommend two females and at least 10, two males and at least 10 females. Uh, but closer to 20 is better because they can be a little bit more aggressive. Because these are a hybrid, they are a little bit more aggressive than other species of peacock. For a show tank, you can keep them in a 75 too, um, or anything bigger. Uh, peacock these guys get around seven inches full grown. Um, so the uh, four feet of a uh, 75 gallon is definitely needed. 55 may work, but it's a little small in my opinion. And then these guys can be kept with just about any other peacock, haps, even predator haps, because they are more aggressive species. They can be kept with Mabuna too. I've done it all day long. Um, it's just best to have the peacocks and haps outnumber the Mabuna. Um, and Victorians when you keep them together and they can be kept with the Victorian cichlids. But they definitely hold their own. Beautiful male there. Yeah, those are the two fire and ices. Alright, let's look at some of their uh, babies. And those males in there are around five inches, maybe a little bigger. Uh, probably five and a half. And the females are around four to five inches. Females hold around six, no, 30 to 50 fry on average, and they breed uh, about once a month. These are the smaller juvies I have currently of them. I stopped stripping them for a few months because I had too many. I've got probably 600 um, juveniles from t from inch to four inch. These guys are on inch and a half. Already got some males coming up. They grow pretty fast because they're hybrid. I get about half an inch a month. Um, these guys were a little slower because I got them crammed in this tank because I don't have a bigger tank yet. 
There's about 125 in this 40 gallon. For grout, if you're trying to breed these guys, 40 gallon will work, but I recommend a 75 at least. Um, that'll get you, uh, that'll allow them to get pretty good size before you either put them in your main tank or you sell them. But if you want to get them around four inches, I'd recommend a uh, 75. Especially considering how many they have, you'll need the room. Because they have a lot of babies and they grow fast. Look at the uh, next size up. These are about a month older. As you can tell I got more males covered up in here. Got about 120 in this 75 gallon. These guys will be good in here for another month or two and then they will need to be moved into a vat. I do not recommend leaving this many in a 75 gallon and trying to get them to four inches. They're gonna be way cramped packed in there and you gotta have at least two canisters in the tank when they're that big. Um, and then probably uh, someone else to help out with mechanical filtration or it's gonna get really dirty. Look at the next size up. But uh, these are one of my favorites because how long we've been live breeding them, get them so nice. So definitely a nice species to look into. So these are the uh, next size up from those. These average around three inches for most of them. These males are already around three and a half. They'll be ready for sale. Got quite a few males in here. And those pretty much produce only those 10 light color um, and light blotching um, offspring. They don't produce many of these dark ones that are just standard OBs. They'll turn into red, blue OB peacock. Cause I actually had the groups together many, many years ago when I separated them and started line breeding them each group. Um, so they only produce their own type of offspring. So I have another red, uh, blue OB group I line breed. So I've been just selling the females and males that of the red blues from the OB dragon bloods until I, I'm left with just the over dragon bloods. It's a really nice male right there. And then the last tank I have with them, that's the Avat. Uh, they're around three to four inches and I got a bunch of males in there. Oh, and I also got a split gene tank of them, I'll show you. At this size, if you wanted to uh, do a show tank or a grout tank, you can do a 40 gallon breeder. That would work. You'll see this size is around three or four inches. And uh, a lot of people use a 40 gallon breeder as a grout tank to get the fish a little bigger before they put them in their main tank if they have bigger fish already. So like this, you could throw in a 40 gallon with uh, in 10 to 15 other peacocks and they'll grow pretty fast. Nice male. Nice male. I've got two really nice males I gotta catch. I've been saving them for a while. A little more red in that guy. Well, here he is. Yeah, I've been saving this guy. I'll probably auction him soon. He's around three and a quarter. Did I catch him? I think I missed him. Dang. Yeah, I missed him. There's no mistake in him. Yeah, here he is. Sure, the camera will not do him justice. He is stunning. Carter Brown. Hold on a second. He caught up around three and a half inches. Two and a half inches, I mean. Beautiful fish. Yeah, I was thinking about breeding them, but I've already got the main breeder group producing a ton of babies, so figured I'd sell them off soon. But yeah, probably auction them. And I auction fish on our band page. There'll be a link in the uh, description of this video. But that was the uh, last tank of the Obi Dragon Buds. These are 
Split Gene OB Dragon Bloods. Pink's a little dirty, it's allergy, but don't worry about that. I've already got one male coming up, but uh, a couple males. Uh, but these are from the male OB Dragon Blood and then female albino Dragon Blood. So these are all Split Gene. That's why I actually got Dragon Bloods. Um, you saw all the other tanks, they were all OBs. Now these, you can see they're all drag blood or they either the heavy blotching brown um, darker OBs. So I'm hoping when I breed these um, again, I'll definitely have albino offspring, but I'm hoping I get albino drag bloods and albino OBs. I haven't had uh, albino OBs, um, so I'm hoping to create those. Because I already have albino drag bloods, as you can see in that group. Um, but. Yeah, I figured Albano OBs would be cool. But I'll do an update video on their progress in a few months. And let's go back to the original tank. Um, and then we'll finish up the video. Like I said, if there's a species you're looking for, or that you want to get, and you want to know a little more about them, I've kept just about any species you can think of from Lake Malawi, uh, and a lot from Lake Victoria and Lake Tanganyika. Um, so I can... Uh, do a little video on them and tell, tell you everything I know about them because I've bred a lot of different fish. Like Lake Tekinika, I've bred a lot of different fish from there as well. And the Victorians, they're easy. I, I can keep them all in a 40 gallon and they, they breed tiny. They all have the same requirements as the Lake Malawi. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely hit that like button. Stunning male. Do one last close-up of all of them. Yeah, probably do another peacock next. Maybe the turkis. Another man-made beautiful fish. Or the, uh, I got midnights. Saffron peacocks. Probably do these. Very rarely see these. They're, uh, line bred from Germany. Tons of yellow. Look at that fish. I'm sure somebody wants to see a uh, species profile on them. They breed like rabbits too. But, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.